I'm Ed Miller with Novo Ed, and I'm the only thing between you and beverages. So I will try to uh, move as quickly as possible for you. $70 billion, big number. That's the amount spent last year, just in the US, on industry training. 26 billion. That's the amount spent annually just on travel, facilities, and equipment for that training. And that's because 55% of all the training hours are still delivered in person. That flies in the face of everything we're seeing at this conference. We know that we're surrounded by incredible educational technology. We know that these companies and these organizations have flat budgets. And most importantly, we know that today's learners are digital natives. They expect what they learn to be as beautiful and easy to use as the apps they use every day on their phone. And by 2020, half of the workforce will be millennials with all those expectations. And they're distributed all over the world. So bringing them all in to in-person training is very expensive. So why is that still happening? Why has that transition not occurred yet? Well, a big part of it is that for many of these skills and many of the in-person trainings, online just isn't an option yet. We've done a really decent job of things like compliance, IT systems, even some customer service, but for what's called the higher order skills, the soft skills, the things that will really help transform an organization, there's very little use of online technologies. And there's a reason for that too, because online doesn't have the things that require um, the techniques for soft skills. The work group, if you think about the best learning you've ever had around gaining soft skills, it wasn't listening to a lecture, it wasn't most likely just watching a video, it was really about participating in some experiential learning. Those experiences are really important. If you look at things like leadership, innovation, culture, sales, all the things that really require people to work together, to collaborate, to work it, break into teams, that has been left out of online learning. So these critical skills are stuck offline. But that's the solution that NovoEd brings. So NovoEd was built at Stanford. Uh, Dr. Amin Sabira and his graduate students looked to solve this solution. It started during the MOOC phase when uh, Dr. Chuck Easley wanted to deliver an entrepreneurship class online and realized that none of the existing technology provided the peer-to-peer -peer and project-based approaches that were necessary. And they actually were running a social algorithms lab where they looked at these techniques. They were doing work for places like LinkedIn and Facebook to really understand how groups form and how they work together. So NovaEd is a learning platform that replicates the best experience of in-person learning. It's social, it's engaging, it has powerful reporting, a modern UI, and social's not an afterthought. It's woven into the very fabric of this learning environment from the ground up. People, our clients, often describe it as Facebook meets online learning. And it's because they allow teams of people to come together and build relationships while learning these critical skills. They're able to do peer review, give feedback, have discussion threads, while they're actively working on projects, they're allowed to select themselves into teams based on profiles. We have algorithms that help instructors form teams. We even pull in LinkedIn and Facebook profiles as well as creating their own for the course. And importantly, analytics to measure not just outcomes but engagement. To understand the participation along the way of every learner, whether it's number of discussion posts, uh, whether it's how many threads they participated in, how much they participated in a project. Any of those items can be measured how long they watched any given video, because it also measures the quality of the videos as well, or PowerPoints, because we're able to manage how engaged they've been in those materials. We serve two markets that are closely related. Uh, employee training, which is corporations and organizations who are training their own employees. They're trying to deliver soft skills 
uh, transform their companies. Courses like leadership, other management classes, uh, design thinking, but also some of the leading executive ed programs and certificate programs around the country. Sometimes those programs come from employees of those same companies. You have people like Darden who work with some of the largest organizations bringing their products to market in those. A couple examples of our clients, Sanofi Genzyme, a large pharmaceutical company, needed to bring their new drugs and oncology to market faster. So what they did was instead of flying everyone in for training, built online training where the people who could understand about the new drugs, they could understand what to say, more importantly what not to say, but also allow them to work with each other to understand how to bring these products to the doctors and physicians and hospitals they'd be talking to. ING Bank completely redid their wholesale banking. Instead of doing it only in Brussels, they distributed it globally. And what they found is not only did they learn the process, but afterwards when there were problems between these new processes, people were actually relating to each other. They had built relationships globally. They were talking to people, they said, remember me from class, you like cats, I like cats, let's solve this problem. And so it really works, relationships get built online. We know it with the millennials we work with, I know it's with my kids, they, are, they don't need to be in person. They just need to be participating. And one of our favorite clients, the Dalai Lama, uses our project to teach fel his fellowship on mindfulness. So with that note and 10 seconds left, I'll conclude the presentation. Thank you.